on everything, you got to be led by God. Yes. Like, if if you're doing things just by yourself, it's going to f- fail every time. Mm. So, but if you're out here and you're doing what God tell you to do, no matter even if you don't understand the outcome or if you don't even see, the word of God says that we walk by faith and not by sight. So we can't actually look at our with our natural eyes and say, this is what this thing is. We actually got to go and actually filter everything through the word of God and what God is saying to you. Mm. So it's like, you have to listen to God on every single aspect of your life. Like, from the so-called big things to the so-called small things. Like, nothing is too big and nothing is too small. So it's like, uh, even based off in the, the word of God, like AI was the smallest smallest city and they whooped the children of Israel who had thousands and thousands and thousands of troops. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because they didn't consult God. You know what I'm saying? So everything, you gotta, you gotta take it before God. So us, we wanna do what God tell us to do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Period. No matter what it is. Like, whatever the sound is, we're not worried about trends. We're not worried about, man, if it's a bang and beat, if it's this, if it's that, or whatever. If God say bring that thing out, when we do what God tell us to do, then we see why he told us to do it. And mm-hmm. then next, you know, that's when the doors start opening and people start calling. And then people are wondering, how are you guys so blessed? You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? We're not trying to be followers. We're not trying to be trendy you know what i'm saying it's like man we actually setting trends out here you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying it's like and to be able to set trends it's like you got to go against the grain sometimes you know what i'm saying yeah, and yeah. some people not gonna like it of course it's over eight billion people in this earth yeah. everybody not gonna rock with you mm-hmm. everybody haven't heard of fresh leftovers you know what i'm saying everybody haven't heard of the cofields yeah. everybody not gonna like it everybody gonna like your style some people come down and be like man i don't like them jokers man <laughs> i don't listen to them you so know what i'm saying cool. you, but know what I, you know what i tell them mm-hmm. it spins Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, numbers don't lie. It spins. Hey, numbers, numbers don't lie. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it's just about doing what God say. Exactly. So you're going to always get the hate. You're going to always get the flack. You're going to get whatever. It comes with the territory. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, man, we just do, we just strive to do what God tells us to do. And that even, even being here today, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's some things back in past, like November, October, December, if we wouldn't have did what God told us to do back then, we wouldn't be sitting here with you guys today. You know what I'm saying? So it's like God told us to do some things, some plant some seeds, drop some deposits back then. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, we didn't know that this is what he had planned. Mm-hmm. If we would have missed those very things that God told us to do, we wouldn't be walking in our very season that we're walking in now. And Period. That's, that's the beauty about like following and listening to God obedient. and yes, sir. being obedient. Yes, sir. Like, and it be the wild. I said it earlier today. I'm like, yo, God be tripping sometimes. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, <laughs> like you said what yeah, like, I know right like for real like mm-hmm. that's how we talk you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying sure. to that natural man it's like man what are you what? talking about Psh, but then it don't make sense and it's just like yo faith doesn't make sense not at all and you can't make and, and sense doesn't equate to you operating in, in faith. faith yes sir so mm-hmm. it's just like is either you gonna do it or you're not gonna do it bro could you but picture guess what? God telling you to go sacrifice your son or your daughter Hey, oh no, he nah. can't tell me that. It don't make mm-hmm. sense at all. No, nah, he can't tell me that. We already had this discussion. Man, bro, you know, raised that knife and everything. Yo, he did. Sacrifice your bro, son. It don't sound. It don't. It don't make sense. Mm. It's like, hold on, bro. bro what, what, what did you, you just say? What? what did you just? You said actually go up here and sacrifice my son. This is the promise that you didn't told me over years and years and years, and you now you want me to me sacrifice to this thing. Now you That's want me to wild. sacrifice this thing. That's wild. So, but look at God. God still want to see your heart posture to see. Do you love this promise more than you love me? (laughs) I was talking to somebody one time.